In cell grazing, we base the recovery period we give pastures on the growth rate of plants. The rule is slow growth, long rest periods. Faster growth, shorter rest periods. The biggest mistake we make in grazing management is not giving our pastures enough rest. Slow growth, long rest. But how long is long? It depends. It depends on how severely we graze our pastures. It depends on the season. Things grow more rapidly in the spring than they do in late summer. It depends on the type of plants that we have, warm season grasses or cool season grasses. It depends on whether you want to stockpile grass for the winter and other management objectives. Well, right now, let's just look at one thing, how severely we graze our pastures. A lot of ranchers seem to think that the energy for a grass plant's regrowth after grazing comes from energy stored in the roots and crowns. But that's pretty much just when a plant breaks dormancy, at the very beginning of the growing season. No, most of the energy for regrowth after grazing comes from photosynthesis. It comes from whatever leaves we leave. Most ranchers would benefit from leaving more leaves. Maybe that's why they're called leaves. We're supposed to leave some of them. Most people don't leave enough leaves. They graze their pastures too severely. Now, severe grazing isn't necessarily bad, provided you give plants the time they need to recover. And they will need a lot of time to recover, at least relative to plants that weren't severely grazed. But pastures that are severely grazed will be less productive. The bottom line is that by grazing less, you'll be able to graze more. Or, or maybe it would be better to say by leaving more, you'll be able to graze more. Let me show you why. When plants are grazed, their recovery tends to follow an S pattern. After a plant's been grazed, its growth is relatively slow, especially if it's been grazed severely. Energy for this regrowth comes from whatever leaves are left to capture energy. Now, as leaves grow a little more and roots start to recover, plants will start to grow more rapidly. If we stay out of a pasture too long, the growth will slow down. Older leaves are less efficient photosynthesizers than younger leaves, and leaves will start to shade one another. Now, in spring, when growth is fast, the slope of this curve will be steep. In late summer, when growth slows, it'll be more gradual. Now, however fast the growth is, let's say that this curve describes the pasture today. Now, if we graze a pasture here and graze it down to, say, here, this is how long it will take to recover. Let's see what happens if I graze this pasture just a little more severely. Let's say we take it down to here, maybe another 25%. Now, what happened to the recovery period? Grazing 25% more severely didn't increase the rest we needed by 25%, did it? It increased it by more, a lot more, 50%, 75%. It might even double it, maybe even more. In general, the more leaves we leave, the faster our pastures will recover. Now, I think one reason that a lot of ranchers graze pastures too severely is that they're focused on utilization. When they see that all the grass has been grazed down, they think it's been used efficiently. But they're putting, they're putting the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Profit-minded ranchers are much more concerned with building capacity than they are with utilization. They know that to build more capacity, they may need to graze less severely and leave more leaves.